Hello my dear children this is Shamin Hurley your English literature teacher children we will be studying the last part of the chapter chips What is this we want chips the children looked on worried as mother explained this is how we cook chips these aren't chips the dark haired soldier shouted so children you remember that in the story the two soldiers had given the mother a sack of potatoes to make chips but the mother did not know how to make chips right so when finally the soldiers returned back they asked for their chips but when they opened the dish they found that the potatoes were not made in chips it was in a form of some curry so they shouted what is this we want chips but then the children they got so worried because they were frightened as to what the soldiers will do so mother explained that this is how we make chips and then they said these are not chips and they walked away sit down the fair head soldier interrupted i am hungry let's at least try this and he lifted his spoon gently blowing so that the steam curled around his hands so the fair head soldier the second soldier he told the other soldier sit down and the meaning of interrupted here means stopped saying something okay so he said sit down i'm hungry let's at least try this and see how this is and what he did he gently lifted his spoon blowing why was he blowing because that food was hot that curry was hot so he was blowing the steam around his hands the potatoes were hot what if they are too hot grandpa shuddered at last the fair haired soldier put the spoon to his mouth and slurped so children the potatoes were hot okay and what if they were too hot grandpa shuddered means the way trembled with fear he was frightened okay then finally what happened at last the fair haired soldier he put the spoon to his mouth and slurped slurped means drank with a loud sucking sound okay when some soup is there you make a sound and you drink na that is called slurped well asked the dark haired soldier The fair-haired soldier spat the potatoes all over the table. What is this swill? He shouted. His face twisted in anger. He got up from the table and hoisted his rifle across his shoulder. So now children, the fair-haired soldier, he had become very angry. So what he did, he got up and he spat the potatoes all over the table and he said what is this okay and then what he did he got up from the table and he hoisted hoisted means pulled something up with difficulty while standing up straight he put up his gun okay across his shoulder mother stepped back in fear the children covered I'm sorry said mother moving away from the table it is our favorite recipe favorite recipe it is swill he repeated and laughed so children when the soldier got angry and he lifted his rifle the mother stepped back in fear she got frightened that maybe the soldier will shoot her okay and all the children they crouched down with fear the meaning of covered means they crouched down they were very frightened and mother said 
I am sorry. She moved away from the table and said, This is our favorite recipe. Means this is the way we cook it and this is our favorite recipe. And what the, what the soldier said, Favorite recipe? This is a swill. And he started laughing. He kept repeating the word swill and he kept laughing. Come on, the dark-haired soldier called his friend. Let's leave. People here don't even know how to cook chips. Ha! And with that, they both walked out of the house laughing to themselves. So, the dark-haired soldier, he called out to his friend, to the other soldier and said, Come on, let's go from here because people over here, they don't even know how to cook chips. And then they both walked out of the house laughing to themselves. The children waited with their nose pressed to the kitchen window watching them go. When they were sure the soldiers would not return, they added the potato peels to the pot along with more herbs for extra flavor and cooked it up. So children, what did the, uh, the children do over there? They went to the kitchen window and over there they stuck to the kitchen window and they were watching the soldiers going. Hmm. And when they were sure that now the soldiers have gone, now they will not return, then what they did, they ran back and they picked up the potato peels and they added it in the pot and they put some more herbs, you know, herbs to give some more flavor to the food and they cooked it up. They dunked big chunks of soldiers' rye bread into the stew and until their tummies were full. It was the most wonderful stew they had ever tasted. So what they did is they all broke big chunks of the soldiers' rye bread. You all remember the soldiers had bought some bread with themselves? Yes, they broke big chunks of means big bits of the bread and they had a good feed with stew and bread until their tummies were full. And believe me children, the stew that they had prepared was very tasty and very delicious. So children, with this I come to the end of the chapter chips. I hope you all have understood this chapter well. I have given you a small worksheet to do. Okay, children? Thank you so much, children.